welcome. It's great to meet other people interested in Afrikaans. As I said before, I first fell in love with Afrikaans in 2011, when my now husband, a South African, took me home for the first time. I've always loved languages, but Afrikaans has completely captured my heart. It is a fun, vibrant, interesting and descriptive language. And compared to other languages I've dabbled in, it's grammatically easier which has meant I've been able to learn to speak faster, which has been very fun. My first reason for wanting to create this video series was because as an Afrikaans language learner, I found it quite difficult to find resources. And so I wanted to create a place to pull these resources together and where resources and learners could find each other. As I've spoken to more and more native Afrikaans speakers, I've realized how interested I am in their own personal stories of their feelings towards their language, particularly at a time of social and political change in South Africa and how they now feel today. I'm really passionate about sharing these stories and I love hearing them. Personally, I feel that Afrikaans gets a rough deal because some people still associate it with apartheid. But if we do not think badly of the German language because of the past, why do we still do this with Afrikaans? It was not every native speaker that had these ideas and did these things. We can accept that with German, but some people aren't quite there yet with Afrikaans. I do want to see this change. Afrikaans is a language of many different people from many different races and many different backgrounds. And it has been influenced by this. And it has embraced, embraced and accepted new people, concepts, accents, ideas, and still continues to do so. In my experience of Afrikaans, I found it to be an inclusive and accepting language and certainly not an oppressive language as I've heard the term used. But if you're watching this and you feel like I do, you already know that. If anyone would like to contribute their own story about their experiences with Afrikaans, please do get in contact. This goes for both native Afrikaans speakers and language learners. I hope you enjoy this series. I've tried not um, to take too much time doing perfectly polished, polished edited videos because language learning in life isn't polished. It's not a perfect polished performance. And so for me, it was important that these videos reflected that. So I've tried to make them um, natural conversations with real people. So I do hope you enjoy and see you soon.